Okay, so we want to find the uh, volume of the solid generated by intersecting um, the uh, two cylinders, radius 4. And uh, we did the general case in um, another video. And here this is just an example of doing it with actual numbers. So um, you'll notice that, uh, so this is what the, um, the intersection looks like. And notice that the cross section is simply a square. So let's say, let's call the length of this square L. And so the area of the cross section would equal to um, the length squared. Okay, so then our task is, well, what's the, what's the, um, how do I find the length of that square? So let's say that the axis is down here, you know, kind of running through the center of this. And so then that means that this guy would be located at distance y. So the distance from the center, the axis, which would be right here, up to the cross section, the square one, this guy, would be uh, y. And so then I also know that from here to here, well, that's just, that's the radius, that's just 4. And so then um, I can find half of the length, uh, half of the length is, well, let me label that something. Let's label it, um, I don't know, let's call that A. So I know that A squared plus Y squared equals to 4 squared. So that means that A is going to happen have to equal to the square root of uh, 16 minus y squared. Okay, so um, then what that means is that the area of the cross section is simply going to equal to um, twice this guy. squared uh, because uh, that was a is just half of the length so the full length of the um, square is uh, 2a so 2 times this guy and then length times length is length squared so then uh, this is equal to 4 times 16 minus y squared okay so then um, my volume is simply going to equal to uh, the integral from bottom to the top, so negative 4 to 4, of uh, 4 times 16 minus y squared with respect to y. And so this is equal to 4, uh, 16y minus y cubed over 3, evaluated from negative 4 to 4 and when all is said and done uh, you end up with 1024 over 3.